Hi everybody, it's Mrs. T from Mrs. T Love Life Laughter. This is my second official vlog and this time I'm making it in order to accept a nomination for a Sunshine Award from Becca at SouthernMessMoms.com. This is actually my second Sunshine Award, but thanks to the lovely Becca, it won't look the same. She actually designed a new button, which I'm going to be very proud to place on my sidebar once I actually follow all the rules of the award. Now, for the rules. You have to acknowledge your nominating blogger, which I did. Thank you so much, Becca, from SouthernMessMoms.com. You also have to provide 11 random facts about yourself. Answer your nominating blogger's 11 questions. Pick 11 new bloggers to nominate. And then post 11 questions for them to answer. Now, when Becca did her um, Sunshine Award post, she did hers by vlog, and I thought it was really cool, and since I'm trying to make baby steps into the vlogging world, I thought I would try to do the same thing. So, my 11 random facts. Um, the first one is, I was born in the summertime, but I can't really stand it. Honestly, I don't like the feeling of being hot. I'd rather be cold and get warm than be hot and try to get cool. I know it's silly, but that's just me. Random fact number two is I kind of like eating, um, I wouldn't say weird, but just different foods at different times. Um, for example, I'll eat freshly made biscuits. They have to be freshly made, like hot out of the oven. And I take them and I dip them in applesauce. It is so yum, yummy and delicious. You have to try it. But my husband looks at me like I have five heads every time I do it. I don't know why. I don't think it's that weird, but it tastes really good. Random fact number three, I have worked or did work from the time I was 13. My grandmother was very old school and she felt if you were old enough to get a job legally, then it was time for you to do that. So as soon as I was able to get my working papers, I had a job. I actually liked it a lot. I got to have my own money, do what I wanted to do. It was really cool. Um, but when I became a stay-at-home mom, it was a bit of an odd transfer because um, I was so used to having my own income and being my own source for everything that I had to get used to it. But in the end, it's been worth it to see my kids and to have that extra time with them and to let them do all their extra activities and know that I'll be there for them. Random fact number four, I don't wash my own hair. Um, it's not because I don't want to. I honestly don't really know how to. As a child, I always had really long, thick hair, and my grandmother could never handle it, so she always sent me to a salon, and when I got older and had a job, I just carried on the tradition and kept going to a salon. So now, I don't really know how to do it at home. Um, I am trying to learn. I know it's a bit late being 30, blah, 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 but I'm getting there. Um, but if you see any weird pictures of me, like with my hair looking really crazy, no, it's probably because... It was a result of me trying to do it myself. Um, weird, random fact number five. I have four tattoos. Um, I can show you one of them. It is my ambergram tattoo. And this one says choice when you look at it this way. And then if you take a look at it that way, let me see. It will say destiny. And to me, this tattoo meant a lot because at the time I was going through my unsure phase of whether I wanted to stay in the church and for me it just helped remind me of the fact that even though I knew my destiny lied in God and that I had a purpose in him and he had plans for me that the choice was still always mine God would never take away my free will so to me my destiny and my choices were tied hand in hand just like my tattoo so I never get a tattoo that doesn't mean something to me um, because they're permanent they never come off so that's random fact number five. Random fact number six is I can't ride a bike at all. Um, I know it's something most kids learn, but I just never did. I tried to learn it, but balance just was not my friend. I always ended up toppling over. And then I tried to learn again when I was around 19 or 20. And I was trying to learn on my aunt's 10-speed bike, which probably wasn't the best plan. And I ended up eating concrete. So that was my last attempt. And guess what? I'm okay with this. I don't mind that I don't know how to ride a bike. If you can accept it, I can accept it. And if you can't, it doesn't matter because I'm not getting on a bike anymore. Um, random fact number eight, nope, number seven, 
is I hate writing in script. I can't stand the way my signature looks. I love how my print writing looks because I practiced it like every day in high school. Like I perfected it. And even to this day, people say my handwriting in print still looks like a teenager, which I like. But when it comes to script, I think it looks like chicken scratch. I try to make it fancy with little swirlies and stuff, but it never ends up like that. Um, random fact number eight is I love how heels look on my feet and how they make your feet look very sexy. But if you see me walking in them, the sexiness doesn't really transfer over. I tend to look like I'm about to topple over. So when I do wear heels, I wear them short distances and for short periods of time. That's the rule of thumb for me with heels. Um, ran my next random fact is I love wearing my Converse and jeans. You've probably heard me say this before, but I don't think I've said why. The reason why I prefer jeans over skirts is because I have very, very skinny legs. And in a skirt, I look like someone walking on stilts. But in jeans, I can kind of play it off a little bit better. So I prefer jeans for that reason. Um, my next random fact is, and I think this is number 10, is that I really, 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 really love stuffed animals. Um, when my husband, I loved them as a kid, but when my husband deployed, he used to send them to me with my flowers. So I have about five from his deployment and I slept with all of them just to be reminded of him. So Ever since then, I've loved them, and when I make my bed, my stuffed animals go right on them, on there, because they're part of my family as far as I'm concerned. Um, my next random fact is I nursed all my kitties. Um, and when I say nurse, I mean completely nurse. No formula for any of them. I didn't even do bottles because I just didn't like it at all. I didn't like how the pump felt. So that's my 11 random facts. And now the next part is for me to answer the 11 questions that Becca left for me on her site. Her first question is, do you clean every day or is it more like, oh crap, we have people coming over and it's a race to the finish line. Um, I clean every day. My OCD would not let me have an oh crap moment. So there's no question in that for me. I clean every single day and my house is pretty much tidy. Um, number two is bra or no bra? That is the question. I could probably go without a bra. I mean, come on. But <laughs> I prefer the bra. It's just a matter of comfort for me. I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable without one. Question number three is, what is the craziest thing you've ever done and are willing to admit to the blogging world? I'm honestly not that crazy a person. Um, I was born and raised a church girl didn't have that many experiences. When I did try to venture out and sow my oats or whatever you want to call it, I still had those morals tied to me. So I was always too afraid of the what ifs to actually do anything really crazy. So, but if I do have any crazy moments that come up, I promise I will let you guys know. Is that a deal? It sounds like a deal. Um, next question is number four. What is one thing you do or say that you probably shouldn't? I'm really trying to stop saying shut up because um, my husband and I say it to each other with no malice attached to it. It's just like, oh, shut up. Oh, hush. But I'm starting to hear my kids say it to each other and I don't like the way it sounds. So I'm trying to cut that out. So I think that's maybe something I shouldn't say. Um, number five, you go to a restaurant. What do you drink or what drink do you order? Water, soda, coffee, or alcohol? I would start off with soda always because I say it helps me to digest my food, but that's just my excuse to be able to drink a soda. And then I always end off with coffee because coffee is the perfect dessert, even if you don't have a dessert. Okay, question number six. You're in Walmart and you see a mom in PJ pants with a baby only in a diaper. What do you do? Um, I mind my business. Not my kid, not my body in the PJs. Um, honestly, I'm guilty of making a Walmart run in my PJs. Granted, my PJs probably are yoga pants or sweatpants, but at the same time, I've done it. So I really couldn't judge anybody else for it. And as far as the baby being only in a diaper, I don't think that's cool. I would put them in a onesie or some kind of pants or something, but not my kid, not my call. Number seven, when you looked at yourself in the mirror today, what was the first thing you thought? Um, honestly... I liked my pearls, 
because I thought they were a good contrast to my sweater and I was liking how my bangs look today. Um, coffee or tea is the question for number eight. Anybody who's read my blog, followed me on Twitter at Mrs. T H or my Instagram or anywhere else knows I'm a total coffee nut. So that's the answer to that one. Number nine, what is your favorite thing to blog about? My favorite thing to blog about, honestly, is love, life, and laughter. Everything that makes up my life. Um, my love for God, my spirituality, and my faith. The life I have with my husband and my kids and how blessed we are. And the laughter that we create together. Those are the things I blog about. I want to venture out into giveaways and stuff like that. But I always want to stick to the core and the foundation of why I started blogging. Number 10, what's in your purse or bag right now? Honestly, my purse is on the other side of the room, but I promise I will take a snapshot and post it up after this, but I can give you a rundown of what's in it. I have keys, my wallet, my checkbook, two Batman toys, because um, my son stuck those in there for church this morning, tissue, eyeglass case, um, my EOS lip balm, which I was recently introduced to, and love, my Vaseline, um, hand sanitizer, an extra charger for my phone, which I keep in my Hello Kitty change purse, and pens and other random items. That's about it. Number 11, most embarrassing thing you have ever had happen that you are willing to share. My most embarrassing moment that I can recall right now would be when my hubby and I and the kids went out to a restaurant after I had just had one of my children. They were still a newborn. And it was time for them to nurse. And if any of you moms know, a baby crying or knowing it was time to nurse can trigger that whole milk function part of a mom. And apparently it did with me. But I didn't realize it. And I'm giving my order to the waiter and I see my husband doing one of these because I had a nice little milk ring on my shirt. So that was like really embarrassing for me. And honestly, the most embarrassing thing I can remember right now. So... That was my portion of my acceptance from my Sunshine Award from Becca at SouthernMessMoms.com. Becca, I appreciate it, and I thank you so much. I can't wait to add it to my sidebar. If you scroll down after you finish this video, you'll see my nominations for bloggers for the award, as well as my 11 questions for them. Until next time, love you guys.